Venice is facing a serious threat. The city is being harmed by sea salt and a phenomenon called aqua alta at an alarming rate. To prevent its destruction, a dam worth $7 billion is crucial. This is where the MOSE project comes in. MOSE is short for Experimental Electromechanical Module in Italian, and it is one of the largest projects in the world. Essentially, it is a big dam that can be lifted to a height of 10 feet. Currently, the platforms only need to be raised to about 4 feet. However, to understand this, we need to explain four important factors, aqua alta, global warming, the Venetian lagoon, and corruption. But before we dive in, make sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so you won't miss any of our future episodes here at Superstructures as we bring you amazing stories showcasing extraordinary creations around the world. Don't miss out, let's begin. Venice is known for its unique charm as a city built on water. Instead of cars, people rely on water taxis and gondola rides to get around. However, the city faces a recurring problem known as aqua alta which translates to high water in English. These floods have been increasing in intensity recently. Since 1872, Venice has recorded 324 aqua alta events, which means the city experiences them around twice a year on average. During these periods, the water levels rise about 3 feet above the usual level. The most significant aqua alta occurred in 1966 when the floodwaters reached an alarming height of 76.3 inches. Typically, aqua alta can happen any time between September and April, and on average, the city gets flooded about 100 times per year. Although these floods are often minor, they still pose challenges to the locals. Living in Venice means facing the reality of high rent and the need to replace furniture twice a year due to flooding. Despite these difficulties, the city continues to thrive. Locals adapt by wearing high rain boots to navigate the flooded streets, while shops remain open and hotels continue to welcome guests. To facilitate movement during floods, elevated walkways have been constructed, and shop owners have installed floodgates to keep the water out. This leads us to the second aspect we need to discuss, global warming. As the Arctic ice melts, sea levels rise posing a significant threat to a city like Venice. Moreover, the situation is worsened by the fact that the city itself is gradually sinking. Venice was built on sedimentary sands found in the Po River Delta. Builders used long and sturdy wooden poles driven into the seafloor as a foundation. They then placed two layers of horizontal planks, followed by stones to create the island's base. However, the weight of the city's infrastructure, with thousands of tons of buildings on top of the sedimentary sand, has caused the city to sink. Over the past century, Venice has sunk by approximately 9 inches. While the sinking process is slow and gradual, it still puts the city at risk. In a few hundred years, Venice could potentially be lost. The situation worsened when city authorities started pumping water from the aquifer, and astonishingly, they remained unaware of the problem for 50 years. Tourism poses another challenge for Venice. While it serves as the city's main industry, some view the large ships as a threat to Venice itself. These ships contribute to the erosions of canals, disrupt ecosystems, and damage the waterways. On one hand, tourists bring significant income to the citizens of Venice. But on the other hand, these ships contribute to the sinking issue. So, what is the solution? Should the entire city be raised or should a massive dam be built to combat Aqua Alta? Enter the Most Project, which has been in progress since 1987. Constructing this mega-project has proven to be incredibly complex and challenging, which is why local authorities are still working on it. The reason behind this complexity lies in the Venetian Lagoon. The intricate waterways of Venice are connected to the shallow waters of the Venetian Lagoon, a vast body of water covering an area of 210 square miles. The lagoon serves as a barrier separating Venice from the Adriatic Sea. Taking an aerial view of Venice reveals the presence of various spits and carrier islands in the lagoon, strategically constructed to protect the city from tides. However, these protective measures are fragmented. There are two barrier islands and three inlets, allowing ships to pass through while minimizing direct water intrusion from the Adriatic Sea into the city. Nevertheless, even this arrangement has proven to be challenging. Salt from seawater is often regarded as Venice's greatest adversary. It gradually erodes the buildings and weakens the concrete holding them together. The deteriorating condition of the structures indicates that it is only a matter of time before they start failing. Despite reinforcing these natural island barriers with sea walls over the years, the existing measures are no longer sufficient to combat the problem. 
This is where the MOST project comes into play, aiming to address the issue of Aqua Alta. MOST involves the construction of movable gates at the inlets located in Lido, Malamoco, and Kyogya. When activated, these gates isolate the Venetian Lagoon from the rising water levels and the Adriatic Sea. However, it is important to note that while MOSE provides a solution, it may not be considered a perfect one, and further considerations are still necessary. Since the Italian Ministry of Public Works took over the MOSE project, they aim to find the perfect solution, but face challenges. Building a massive dam around the city was considered, but it would have had devastating effects on the delicate lagoon ecosystem. As a result, they opted for temporary dams, known as MOSE, Initially, the idea of raising and lowering a dam seemed unconventional, even drawing laughter from CNN, who likened it to a scheme devised by a James Bond villain. However, the plan was proven effective so far. When not in use, the gates of the dam rest at the bottom of the lagoon, allowing unobstructed passage for ships, cruise ships, and fishing boats. As the tide rises, 78 small dams are erected to block the incoming water. These floodgates, filled with air, rise to the top due to buoyancy, effectively blocking all three inlets. However, the project initially intended for completion in 1995 has faced multiple delays and setbacks. The project's cost, initially estimated at 1.4 billion euros, has significantly escalated to over 8 billion dollars. Construction deadlines have been repeatedly extended, with each delay causing further frustration. The most recent deadline for completion is now set for 2025, but there are concerns about whether it will be achieved before Venice faces severe consequences. The price tag of the project continues to rise with each delay, emphasizing the urgency to finish it promptly. Another significant challenge in the most project is corruption. As one might suspect, politicians became involved in questionable activities related to the project. The mayor of Venice, Giorgio Orsani resigned in 2014 due to allegations of embezzling funds for personal gain from the project. He and approximately 30 accomplices were arrested, accused of stealing $27 million from the project. Some sources even claim that around 100 individuals benefited from this corrupt scheme. There are speculations that Orsani used the embezzled money to secure votes and ensure his re-election as mayor during his second term. It's important to note that no convictions have made thus far, and these allegations remain as rumors. The issue of corruption is believed to have contributed to the prolonged completion of the most project. However, it's crucial to consider that no concrete evidence has been presented to substantiate these claims. While the official completion of MOS is still two years away, it was activated for the first time by the Italian government on October 3, 2020. The operation was partially successful in preventing flooding in the lowest parts of the city, such as Piazza San Marco. However, due to inaccurate tide height estimates, the gates were not raised to the necessary level, resulting in Venice experiencing flood once again. You might wonder why they don't simply raise the gates to the maximum height of 10 feet and avoid the need for estimates. The answer is straightforward. Cost. It requires a significant amount of energy amounting to $300,000 to raise the gates by 3 feet. This cost includes pumping air into the tanks and removing water from the 78 tanks. Unless a more affordable solution is found, Venice will continue to face the risk of flooding. However, there is hope that by 2025, they will finally achieve the seemingly impossible and overcome these challenges. Thank you for joining us today. Don't forget to subscribe to Superstructures and click that notification bell to stay updated on our latest videos. Until next time, keep exploring and appreciating the wonders of our world.